The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks by Rebecca Skloot is a captivating non-fiction book that tells the story of Henrietta Lacks, an African-American woman whose cells were taken without her knowledge and consent in the 1950s. The book begins by introducing the reader to Henrietta Lacks, who lived in poverty with her husband and five children in Clover, Virginia in 1951. Henrietta was diagnosed with cervical cancer and was admitted to Johns Hopkins Hospital, where her cells were taken during a biopsy. Henrietta's cells, which were later known as Hella cells, were unlike any other cells previously observed by scientists. They were unusually resilient, able to multiply at an incredible rate, and did not die like other cells. This made them ideal for research and experimentation, and scientists used them to develop some of the most significant medical advancements of the 20th century, including the polio vaccine, cancer treatments, and gene mapping. Despite the immense contribution that Henrietta's cells made to medical science, her family was unaware of their mother's legacy and the use of her cells for several decades. It wasn't until the 1970s that Henrietta's name became known to the public and her family learned that her cells were still being used in medical research worldwide. The book follows author Rebecca Skloot's journey as she seeks to uncover the story of Henrietta Lacks and her family's feelings about the use of her cells. Skloot spent years researching and interviewing members of Henrietta's family, including her husband, children, and grandchildren, as well as scientists and researchers who had used Henrietta's cells in their work. She explores not only the scientific and medical implications of Henrietta's cells, but also the ethical and moral questions surrounding informed consent, privacy, and ownership of biological materials. The book delves into the dark history of medical experimentation on African Americans, such as the infamous Tuskegee syphilis study and the use of slaves for medical experiments during the 19th century. Skloot raises thought-provoking questions about the use of human cells for medical research and whether individuals have the right to control what happens to their cells and tissues. Throughout the book, Skloot weaves together the story of Henrietta's life, the scientific advancements made possible by her cells, and the ongoing impact of her legacy on medical research and ethics. The book is a moving tribute to Henrietta Lacks and her family, as well as a thought-provoking exploration of the intersection of science, ethics, and race in America. The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks has received widespread critical acclaim and become a cultural phenomenon in its own right. It has been translated into over 25 languages and has been adapted into an HBO movie featuring Oprah Winfrey and Rose Byrne. The book has sparked a renewed interest into the story of Henrietta Lacks and the ongoing debate surrounding medical ethics and informed consent. The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks is a powerful and compelling book that sheds light on one of the most important stories in medical history. It is a must read for anyone interested in the intersection of science and society and the ongoing ethical questions surrounding the use of biological materials for medical research. The book challenges readers to think critically about medical ethics, social justice, and the impact of scientific advancements in society. Here are five important lessons that one can learn from this book. One, the importance of informed consent. The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks highlights the importance of informed consent, emphasizing the need for individuals to have a say in the use of their biological materials in medical research. Henrietta's cells were taken without her knowledge or consent, and her family was not informed about their use for many years. This raises important ethical questions about the use of human subjects in scientific research, and emphasizes the need for researchers to prioritize informed consent and ensure that individuals have the right to make informed decisions about their participation. 2. The Impact of Medical Racism The book explores the ways in which race and class have historically played a role in medical research and healthcare, highlighting the impact of medical racism on communities of colors. Henrietta Lacks, a poor black woman, was taken advantage of by the healthcare system and her family's experiences with the healthcare system were marked by discrimination and neglect. The book serves as a reminder of the ongoing need to address and combat medical racism and to ensure that all individuals have access to quality healthcare. 3. The Power of Advocacy The immortal life of Henrietta Lacks also emphasizes the power of advocacy, particularly the advanced efforts of Henrietta's family. Her family's efforts helped to raise important ethical questions about the use of human subjects in research and led to important changes in the way that research is conducted. The book serves as a reminder of the power of advocacy to effect change and to ensure that the voices of marginalized communities are heard. 
4. The Importance of Humanizing Science Another important lesson that can be learned from this book is the importance of humanizing science. The story of Henrietta Lacks and her family serves as a reminder that science is not neutral or objective, but is shaped by the values, biases, and perspectives of those who conduct research. The book encourages us to think critically about the ethical implications of scientific research and to ensure that the voices and experiences of those impacted by the research are taken into account. 5. The Value of Family and Community Finally, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks underscores the value of family and community, particularly in times of struggle. Despite the many challenges that they faced, Henrietta's family remained close and supportive of one another. The book serves as a reminder of the importance of family and community in times of struggle, and the ways in which our connections with others can help us find strength and resilience. In conclusion, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks is a thought-provoking book that raises important ethical and social questions about the use of human subjects in scientific research. From the importance of informed consent and the impact of medical racism, to the power of advocacy and the need to humanize science, the book offers a wealth of insights and lessons that are still relevant today.